What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! How's everybody doing today? It's a hot one. It's warm. I can smell my hat, which is not good. But uh, furthermore, we uh, had some. Sorry, I don't have my stabilization tripod. But uh, we're gonna do a quick tool uh, tool review of the EETH 311 thermal imager. This is my favorite thermal imager. I've tried a couple of them, including the old Snap-on. Wasn't a big fan of it. But uh, this thing definitely uh, is a cat's meow. So we'll stop yapping and spin you around. Here's the unit in the box. Thermal laser. Yeah, that doesn't tell you much. Uh, says over here, thermal imaging, bleeding invisible light camera to provide more detail, locate, reveal, potentially. 1800 degrees, which is nice. Dual function products, store hundreds of images. 2.8 inch display. This is Snap On's latest uh, tool. I think this one's right around seven or 800 bucks. Comes in this box. It's got a charger, which is up on the deal. But uh, comes a little booklet in, booklet in here. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this guy. Turn it on here. And uh, we're going to talk about a couple of the functions. So it's all ran basically off of this. And uh, you can turn it. All right, guys, we've got a 2010 Ford Focus here. This is what the epitome of is, I call, uh, just terrible work. Uh, I mean, we've got, what's this? Uh, this is an engine install. And now, obviously, we've got a PCM going in it. We've got multiple electrical issues. This is a train wreck. This is an absolute train wreck. Um, this was dropped off to us. Somebody else installed the engine. And then basically we have no communication with the PCM. But I want to show you some quick diagnostic. This is why this tool right here makes life a whole hell of a lot easier. And especially if you're just a guy that's not a very big fan of electrical. This thing does the work for you. And uh, how I'm going to show you how this works is, is we're going to look over this. And clearly, we can see this is a thermal imager. Stick your hand over here. So we can see that we've got thermal imaging. Now we're going to look here. Notice that little red mark coming up here on the relay. The key is on. And we have some relays that are heating up. Now this is a very faint, excuse me, I better use the camera in the right spot here. But you notice how we have some red showing up and it's continually getting hotter and if I hold that over it we're going to see that the temperature is increasing 95 degrees and it's getting hotter now if we look over here at this other relay it's also getting hotter we take it off and we can see that there's a significant temperature drop we're diagnosing a short and what we're working with right here by using a thermal imager without having to chase down things check fuses so instant power ground checking with the thermal imager saves you a shit ton of time instead of instead of you sitting there poking at every fuse looking at it bust out your thermal imager now the snap-on I do prefer this is the EETH 311 but this literally wouldn't you agree pretty cool huh yeah saves you a bunch of time and we can see that we have two hot relays now these are both uh these are pcm relays so that's a pcm relay it feels warm already feeling warm oh, yeah. yeah but we're seeing oh, yeah definitely yeah it's oh it's getting over the hot so like we'll pull your hand away from there check the pot look at that it's already it's significantly getting warmer quick which tells me we have a short we're up to 94. we checked it a little bit ago one of those things, guys, that these things, these tools are underutilized. I see it all the time. This thing's setting and it had dust on the box in the shop where I'm at. And it's such a simple tool to grab and use and save you just a mountain of time. Instead of you, now you could go look at wiring diagrams after this now and you know that you basically have those circuits to check. But why would you not? So anyways, guys, that's what I got for you. Differentiation. I'll show you some pictures though of this thing where it's kind of hard, difficult when I don't have my. Anyways, you dim it up, dim it down for that. You also take it all the way down 
And now, uh, one more. CP, come on. That's, we're not going to do that. That's where it takes a picture. We'll show you that. So now you have a red dot for checking. You can hold it and it locks the screen in where you're at last place. Let me see if I can show it on this. Yeah, that'll work better. Show that on there. It gives you the temperature. Let off. It'll actually capture the screen. Press no to back out. It also has a library. This is kind of a neat mode too. It gives you a little bit more definitive, but you can see it gives you the uh, different levels or layers of effects. Plus it has color temperature changes. Watch how the snap on back. Um, let me turn this down. Sorry, I know it's not. Turn the color temperature down, up and down there. You can see the background kind of changing a little bit, hopefully. Then we also have, let's go in here to our library. So I just took these pictures today and you can see those are relays. Um, with this camera, those are relays. Oh, what the heck happened to the... those? Are some other hot wires? That's the red dot. I took another picture, I must, have, I must have lost it. I had a relay underneath the dash. But if you see closely there, this is what's cool about this tool is it's very underutilized. Is that you can look at a relay box and you can see where those relays are hot. hot. So if you have a short or you're getting a draw battery dry, drain that's how you know real quickly quick and effect these are the fastest tools for checking uh that i've ever seen on the market that's what i like the thermal image for um this has a light on it too which i also like let's see here yeah look at the light lights it up pretty good Pretty awesome tool. I, I really like this thermal imager a lot. Uh, this is my favorite. The functions on it, the little trigger, the grip. I like it because it's a little lot more compact than the normal ones. It's pretty user friendly. I like this. Um, you know, you can see where I like this where you can change this, but you can also see the edges around there where you can kind of grasp that picture. But uh, and then it's just a, it's a USB charger, not a C charger, but just a USB charger. It charges up pretty fast, holds a charge for a pretty long time. But overall, this is definitely got a few settings we can look at here. Change your brightness, color palette, language, automatic shutdown, navigation tips, spotlight intensity, advanced. Um, you know, a lot of options. This is just a cool tool. Honestly, this is my favorite one of all the thermal imagers. A lot of people I see have these in their toolboxes and I never see them use them and I just don't understand why. This is literally the quickest thing, like I showed you in that picture, to check out battery drains, shorts, stuff like that. It's great to grab. And then heated seats. Uh, guys that are trying to always diagnose heated seats and whatnot, these things are amazing. If you, especially with all the heated and cool seats. Vents. If you've got a quick way to tell if your vent is not blowing out the same temperature of air, it's nice to have these a little bit more precise than just a regular temp gun or using a, therm or a thermometer. But anyways, guys, that's the e e e t h three eleven. That's Echo Echo Timmy um, <laughs> Howard three eleven. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. I'm going to slip another clip in there. Appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.